Meantime, the mask mandate at Guilford County Schools is still in effect, but the district is making other changes. Today it added two remote learning days later this month. Some parents welcome the extra time at home. Others say it throws a wrench in their routine. WFMY News 2's Avery Powell heard from both sides. Guilford County school officials say students, teachers and families are stressed out. So they added two remote learning days on the week of Thanksgiving. The reaction, though, has been mixed. Now that pretty much we're back to a normal school year after two years, um, it's a lot. For parent Jade Bell, the extra remote learning days are much needed. I'm hopeful that not only will this time be beneficial to teachers as well, but to parents to see, you know, if they can spend even more time during the holidays with their children. Students will get Monday, November 22nd and Tuesday, November 23rd to catch up on work virtually without teacher instruction. Casey Yates says it will help teachers and her two daughters. Extra help never hurt anybody in the academic field. You know, practice makes perfect. So, um, you know, I think my girls will benefit from it just to make sure that they're where they need to be. The announcement on the GCS Facebook page has more than 400 comments, both for and against the change. One parent writing, quote, as a working parent who already has to take a day off to cover Wednesday, having to manage remote learning and figure out child care during these two days will do nothing to help my stress levels. But Yates thinks there's still enough time for folks to make arrangements. School is not a babysitter. You know, and I could understand if they had made this decision, let's say on November 19th, but today is the third, so they're giving you almost three weeks. Other parents say it can be tough, but people will make it work. I feel for the parents that need to find childcare, but it's kind of like inclement weather days. Um, what can you do? Now, we did reach out to several of those parents posting on social media who were opposed to the change. They either didn't respond or refused to speak with us on camera.